All right, so today I'm going to show you how to remove your hard drive either from a CFT8. This is a Panasonic CFT8. It'll be the same as a Panasonic CFT7. And this is whether, you know, something you want to do if you want to upgrade your hard drive size, your hard drive went bad, or whatever has you whatever reason you need to take the hard drive out. So we can use a we're gonna need a number one screwdriver Phillips head and then a number zero Phillips screwdriver. To remove the hard drive we have to open the computer up and to the right hand side there would be two screws to the right of where the battery slot is. So we remove those two screws. Close the lid. Flip it over. We're going to remove the two screws that hold down this rubber strap. To the right of the battery, I leave the ones on the left because we don't really need to remove those. I fold over the strap here, hold it down. Then we have three screws holding the hard drive cover. So we remove those three. Actually, it's a total of five. Those two that you remove from the inside also hold the cover. So then you slide it towards the battery. You lift up and pull away or pull towards you <clears throat> to remove the hard drive without damaging the ribbon cable. The ribbon cable connection is on the side by the battery. So we'll grab, I like to grab these foam blocks here, lift up, hold it. You lift this flap open. Okay, there's a little flap here. Now you do have some play with the ribbon cable. It is, you know, a little bit. See here, it's flexible, so I mean, it, you can move it a little bit, but have to be careful. Any tear by the SATA connections or down here will render that useless, and then we would have to get in to replace that cable. So then <clears throat> you just slide the cable or the hard drive out of its sleeve insert your new working hard drive lift the flap connect your hard drive I like to put down I, I like to insert it uh, with the connector in first then you simply line up the two tabs to the hole and slide it to your right Screw in your three screws that hold it in here. <clears throat> when putting this strap back on, you got to make sure that it has it has this little tab. It has a small tab. I don't know if you can see it well there or not. Let's see if I'll focus on that. When you're putting it in there, just make sure that that little tab goes into the slot. So I kind of angle it down and then put it flat. Then we take the little washer, put that in there. Screw that down. We open the lid. Let's put the last two screws. And at this point, you have successfully replaced your hard drive on either a Panasonic CFT7 or a T8. Thanks for watching.